Ah! This movie sucks! This movie's awesome! Ah! Wait, what movie are we talking about? Captain America Civil War? Oh, that movie's awesome. I know, right? Let's be friends! Yeah! Yeah! Captain America Civil War. This movie is without a doubt absolutely good. Okay, to me, it wasn't as great as everybody made it out to be. It was kind of alright. Well, probably wrong word there, but you get the idea. I've been overexposed to a lot of Marvel movies lately, and to be honest, none of them have really wowed me as much as, say, The Avengers or Ant-Man, but Civil War is still friggin' great. I should say good. Uh, my recollection's a little hazy due to the fact I suffered from a migraine while viewing the movie, but my response to it is that it was a good movie overall. Story-wise, it's about an ideological division within the Avengers team. After the events of Age of Ultron and all the prior films, the, Z the Zakovia Accords are being introduced, legislation that gives oversight to the Avengers. On one side, you've got Tony Stark, who is in favour of the Accords, which he believes will actually give regulation and determine whether or not the Avengers are needed in a situation. But on the other side, you've got Captain America, who is against the Accords due to the fact he believes that whoever is in charge of overseeing the Avengers will be able to determine who really is the villain and who's the hero, regardless of who they are or what they're trying to do. And while that's going on, everyone is being manipulated behind the scenes by a mysterious Mr. Zemos, who has ties to the events of Age of Ultron. And after Zemos has set up the Winter Soldier Bucky Barnes for the assassination of the King of the Reclusive African Kingdom of Wakanda, the Kingdom's Prince, turned King, seeks out revenge against Bucky, donning the mantle of his people's most well-known warrior, the Black Panther. And speaking of the Black Panther, he is fan freaking tastic hands down the Marvel Cinematic Universe's equivalent of Batman. He is the African Batman, and the actor they got to play him, my god, he is an absolute treasure. I hope they got him on contract for any future films. I really do. And then there's the scene that everybody's talking about, the airport scene? Okay, I've seen comparisons to how it was done in the comics with all the heroes there, but okay, trust me, it makes up for the lack of hero variety just by being Freaking awesome! You will be on the edge of your seat with just how amazing this scene is. And the character that really steals the show in this scene is Ant-Man. When he shows up, oh my god, it is just wonderful. And this scene, believe it or not, has got me pumped for Ant-Man and Wasp. Why? Ant-Man has giant powers now. He can become gigantic. And <laughs> this even plays a wonderful little side gag where Vision phases through him. Oh, uh, God, that scene was like an orgasm. It, it was just the high point of everything. And we're the woman watching, and we have to just keep seeing through more of it. What should I say? Just left wanting more. Not only that, but the movie also remedies a bit of a problem that the Marvel movies have had for a while. They're villains. With the exception of Loki, they've all been pretty much just... dismissible. They've all been these samey, superhero... well, superhero equivalent enemies that are really just evil for the sake of being evil, because the plot demands a villain. But in the case of Zemos, he's not actually evil at all. He's just a man who's had everything that he ever cared about taken from him in circumstances where he had no control over it. He's very sympathetic in that regard, and really unique, because unlike all the other villains, he isn't super-powered or has something to compensate for a lack of powers. He's just a normal guy, using his wits and his intelligence, to play the Avengers for puppets so that he can finally have the revenge and peace he so desperately seeks. The only real problem the movie has is that because we've been kind of oversaturated with superhero movies at this point, the movie does struggle to wow you, at least until the airport scene. Uh, granted, it isn't bad before or after that, but... Uh, it just didn't grab me the same way the Avengers or Ant-Man did. At least not till the airport scene, and at least not till the climax with the final confrontation between Captain America and Iron Man. It's a damn good movie, it's well worth watching, and... Yeah, just go see it. Don't Just stop listening to me, go see Captain America Civil War. In fact, I'm gonna go see it again, this movie's awesome. Yes, 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 all caught up, yes. Finally got this review out there. Oh man, couple days late, but better late than never. Oh, and again, uh... 
when I saw this movie, I was suffering from a migraine, which persisted till when I was working on it, and I've only just now completely recovered from it. So yeah, not my best work, but Captain America Civil War is a totally awesome movie. Do see it. It is as good as everybody says it is. Black Panther kicked ass. African Batman was awesome. Loved Ant-Man. Can't wait for Ant-Man and Wasp. Woo, awesome movie. Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll be back soon enough with the Angry Birds review.